this video is brought to you by Froggy's Fog, a fluid for every effect. Okay, let's go ahead and do a review on the website itself. Froggy'sFog.com You go here and you immediately find a giant logo, Froggy's Fog, a fluid for every effect. Now, if you look to the right of that, you can see your very very simple actually your checkout shows you how much items you have in there uh, how much it's gonna cost you um, they have a search bar right below that and right above that then they have their phone number a web or a uh, email address that you can contact them and their business hours at the very top of the page you can see uh, another type of search bar which allows you to go between fog haze, snow, bubbles, foam, and scents. In this review, we are going to cover fog that we got and some scents. Now, as you scroll down, you will notice they have another search bar. And this just kind of helps you, uh, well, search for different fluids. Then you scroll down a little bit further and you are greeted with this really, really long thing that kind of explains what their business is and uh, it's actually very interesting if you do read it. Um, if you want, you can go ahead and pause the video and read it from here or go down to the description of the video and click the Froggy's Fog link and that will open a separate window. You can go and read that, you know, pause the video look at their website see if you find anything you like and then at the very bottom you are greeted with another way to search for what you are looking for just like the one at the very top of the page this kind of shows you fog haze snow bubble foam and what got blocked out at the very side is scent once you scroll to the complete bottom of the page there are frequently asked questions, shipping information, pay info, return policies, privacy policies, video resources, all sorts of stuff that you can look at, uh, different ways for contacting them. Uh, you can sign up for their newsletter, which I highly recommend. Altogether, their website is pretty good, although it is a little bit repetitive on the searching options. But I understand where they're coming from. They want to make this shopping experience as easy as possible for their customers. And I highly recommend shopping from them. Okay, so right here what I'm doing is comparing the two different brands of fog. I have Froggy's Fog, Bog Fog on the right, and the other guy on the left. As you can see, the one on the right, the Bog Fog, turned out much thicker and in a fatter stream than the other. The other more so looks like a steam than a fog. I am using two different brands of fog machines, but that doesn't play a role in the actual fog itself. Because they are both 400 watt, they operate at the same, uh, at the same style. So it's really not that big of a difference. Now, if I were using a 1000 watt fog machine versus a 400 watt fog machine, there would be a significant difference there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you see the fog machine here. I decided to fill up the smallest room that I could find at our storage. Um, so this will represent, we can close the door, represent it just staying in here to see actual hang time without any ventilation. While this fog is filling this room, so you can see it is starting to fill. I have noticed this fog from the other guy has a really distinct smell. It smells pretty awful. Really bad. What I went and did was turn off the uh, timer and just push manual and held it until it completely ran out. Let's open up this door and uh, see how foggy it is. Now, as you can see, it is pretty foggy. Um, it's pretty dense, you know. So you can still see to the other side, though. As you can see, that black shadow right here is our fuse box and that's the shower so you still can see back here um and it's very oh it's very hard to breathe it's very very smoky we'll let that sit for an hour or so and come back and see how it's doing okay so it's one hour later i have not opened the door yet 
So you're gonna see what I see first off. One hour later, absolutely nobody walking through. No circulation. It is still kinda hazy in here, but it's nowhere near what it was before. Um, but you know, in an actual haunted house, you're gonna have people walking through. You're gonna have um, other scenarios with movement, um, places for the fog to escape. So this was just best case scenario. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and turn on this uh, fan leave the door open and let it kind of air out for a little bit. I thought one good thing to add to all of this was that the fog I just used from the other guys, I had to take one, um, two full hits on the manual fog. So it took quite a bit to fill up the room. So hopefully by using the bog fog, it will use less fog and give you a better effect. Okay, so I just did one cycle of the bog fog. This is one cycle of bog fog versus two and a half cycles of the other guy's fog. So you can see you immediately open up the door and you can't see anything really to the other side of the room, even with the light on. It's very hard to see to the other side of the room. Um, now it's starting to clear out into the other room because I have the door wide open, but very, very, very dense. Very hard to see. Um, and it filled up very quickly. Like I said, just one, one and a half, uh, or just one cycle of bog fog for two and a half cycles of the other guy's fog. Okay, so this is uh, the first time I'll be seeing the fog since the last clip. Um, it's been about an hour since I did that. Let's go ahead and see. First of all, I opened it up and wow. As you can see, it's been, it's been about an hour and 15, 20 minutes. It is still very, very cloudy in here. Um, still very dense it's still pretty hard to see on the other side of the room uh, and it doesn't stink at all not as bad as the other brand so all right now that we have reviewed froggy's fogs fog let's go ahead and review their scent it is charred corpse so this is one ounce this thing makes two gallons um, so what I did was I just made a little like I took the cap off and poured it a little bit into the cap and then poured that into the actual fog machine because I didn't want to use an entire gallon of fog to smell this particular way. Our second scent that I have is Froggy's Fog's Cotton Candy Scent Additive. This stuff smells so good right on this, just, just uh, this makes up to two gallons. Um, I use this in my jack-in-the-box prop make it smell like cotton candy and it really does smell like cotton candy It's not like a little cheap thing. No, it smells like cotton candy My next scent is by far my favorite This is a cologne um, It's haunted house cologne spray. You just spray it on your actors or even your props um, Sometimes I just spray it over here at storage. So whenever I come back the next day, it smells really good one spray on the front of an actor, one spray on the back of an actor. That actor's done. And it just smells so good. It smells like... Like old people. Like it smells like if an old person put their clothes in an old crate and left it in their attic in like different storms so it like built up mold and mildew in that crate wood smell plus some mothballs just all of that together in closing i would say froggy's fog is a wonderful company and their uh, customer support 
is by far the best I have dealt with so far in a company wise um, very very helpful um, whenever you have any questions they get immediately they will reply to you um, as long as it is in business hours um, so very great company but go ahead froggiesfog.com Thank you.